Hi, this is Francis Nelson from the Computarium. This is our Mac with the title Computarium. Many years ago, this big machine, which is a Borg's calculator, was donated by an important Luxembourg bank, the Banque Caisse de Parangolita. The machine comes probably from 1926, or is even older. And in my opinion, it is a class two machine. Its serial number is two, one, zero, one, zero, three, seven, four. So two, C says it's a model 2. This is a serial number. And if you look at the video, uh, at, at the website, for instance, at uh, Burroughs Infocom, it's suggested that uh, this machine has been manufactured in 1926. Uh, uh, it has 70 co 17 color, colors, columns, sorry. And uh, here, a switch between one and another to totali to totalizer. So it's a dual uh, totalizer machine. <clears throat> uh, and this machine normally belong to class two. Uh, it's quite a beast. It's, uh, its weight is... Uh, about 50 to 60 kilograms and it's purely mechanical but driven by an electrical motor. I will turn it around so you may have a look at the impressive mess of levers and ancillary technical details. Here you have a large <coughs> carriage and here at the bottom this beast here, this big black box is the electrical motor with the trans runs here at uh, 220 uh, VAC. So alternative current. <clears throat> the motor drives the calculator, but it also can be used with a crank, mostly for debugging or for <coughs> maintenance. <clears throat> the machine was completely blocked and uh, nothing worked. The main cause was that this key, the totalizer key, was pushed in and didn't move at all. After many hours of work, after tidying up, after fixing other problems with keys which didn't remain in, the machine now at least uh, is functioning at the modest subset of its capabilities. And let me just show how to make a simple addition of three numbers and show you the printout of, this, of that machine. First of all, I switch it on. What you hear now is the motor turning in an idle mode. <clears throat> there is still one problem with the total key. I have to push it slightly up before typing a key. Let's type two, 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 and then I start the motor. As you see, the carriage makes one movement. Uh, it could be programmed to stop at different positions. I left just a center position and it's at that position now that 
this number has been added and printed as we will soon see. So let me say 444, 444, and we will add that number also. And then 555, 555. To have the total, we must make an idle entry. So simply a blank. And then I push down the total and make the movement again. So I will remove the paper and here you have after my videotape has switched on, you have the three numbers we have added and the total on the last uh, line. And that's okay. I just show, will show you the back of that machine. It's this back that makes me some supplementary programs. Uh, it's a very complicated mechanical thing here and by fixing very uh, some stops here on the on one of these rails you can program the machine so that you may type columns of number as in book, uh, book uh, keeping i have one problem that i am unable to solve so i will turn it around still here at the bottom we have sort of a mechanical gearbox and it's tied to the working of the carriage but I guess that some springs are missing and I can't find any instruction and don't have a big clue how to work what's working is if I push the start of the motor you have this screw which downs a little and that executes the motor. Now it, it made a, a movement, an empty movement. It's a beautiful design. If you look at these technical levers, these, <coughs> these wheels, uh, these knobs, everything is sturdy, there is no plastic except the key uh, tops, but the rest is really big and heavy steel. So we will try in the next days to go on with that uh, restoring and hopefully uh, I can show you a more definitive video in the near future. Thank you for your attention.